Hello and welcome. I'm Vandalier and I'm so glad you're here. Today we are watching all of Cloud's date night cutscenes. We are going to just watch them all back together, back together and react to all of them. My personal playthrough, I got Tifa. I got the best possible outcome with Tifa. So I personally have seen that one, but I have not seen any of the others. So I'm very excited and curious to see what is going to happen. Let's go ahead and start them. And before we do start the video, please be sure to hit the like, the subscribe, and if you're on Twitch, hit that follow. You ready for this? A gondola's here. Well, after you. You first. Uh, Cloud? Oh. <laughs> He's like, I'm not missing this opportunity. <laughs> little look at her think we can steer with this worth a try <laughs> even the tone of his voice Here got just goes. a little softer than normal worth a try just like this wow That's pretty cool. Well, nice save. <laughs> hey, over there, see that? <laughs> the Chocobo races. He looks so fun. That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself. So pretty. It's beautiful. Um, actually, that's not a real chocobo race. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Get a so, little closer. Have you talked to Aerith? Hmm? Hey, um, Aerith? I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers that. How they were friends five years ago. What? Mm. Not yet. I remember thinking that was the wrong right. time to bring that up anyway. Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zack. <laughs> I think it's a little more complicated than that. It's kind of weird us oh. being here like this, isn't it? She knows Tifa likes him. Is it? I think that's what she meant. I mean, part of it. I guess it's more it complicated. Is. That's part of it. Kinda. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey, ever since we were kids, even. I can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. Or am I getting ahead of myself again? Again? Hmm. Yeah. Again. Hoping out for her. 
Just like I've been dropping hints like crazy, man. Not one bit. Oh, the way he looks at her. I'm still just like, I can't believe it happened. I can't believe it actually happened. Shocking. It's so awkward. It's so awkward. We should probably head back to our rooms. Uh, yeah, probably. He doesn't even look at her. Ah, it drives me nuts. Your relationship has changed. No kidding. Um, <laughs> all right. Cloud is the master of no game game. He has zero game. He has no idea what he is doing. These scenes are pretty. Personally, more fan of Aerith than Tifa, but both are great. Well, we'll get there. We're getting to Aerith. The low affinity Tifa date ends at the hug, no kiss. I've heard that. And that is hilarious because it is such a like, oh, 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 like disappointing moment. The first time I watched it, I was like, really? You're just going to go in for a hug? Come on. And then he actually kissed her. I was like, oh, I can't believe it happened. You think Cloud loves her? I don't, I think he does, but I think he's confused if he love, loves her. I think he, he likes her and I think he loves her as a person, as a friend, but I don't know that whole thing talking about bringing up Aerith and then feeling like disappointed that she was worried about, or like thinking about Zach, like, I feel like it's very telling, honestly. And then it's almost like, I feel bad for Tifa because she's like basically having to draw it out for him i like you i've always liked you and then he finally is like oh okay well i guess then if if Aerith is interested still or like still has feelings about her ex or whatever not ex because do they actually really break up but like i don't know i feel bad for tifa i feel like she deserves somebody who's like pursuing her and is like all in because she's amazing but the whole Aerith thing, yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> Cloud wants to tell Aerith that Zack is dead, so he's waiting for Tifa to talk to her. Right, he's trying to make her do it too, which is like the hard thing. Make her do the hard part. Tifa lied about telling Aerith about Zack to get that kiss. <gasps> you think? Mm. <laughs> That's a good theory. It's complicated. All right, next one. Yuffie's next. All right, Yuffie's next. Makes perfect. Practice for what? Uh, for when the real thing comes around. <laughs> what, like a real hey, date? Aren't you forgetting someone? <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. She's such a kid. She's like, let's play with the thing. I love her energy. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> That's so fun, though. I want to go on one. Oh no, she's gonna get sick. Let's take a break. Great idea. Yeah, yeah.
Is she having feelings? So, I heard you and Tifa go way back. Aww, that is cute. I also heard she used to have a pretty big crush on you. That's so. Well, not at first. Apparently, even as a kid, you had that weird loner vibe. But then one day, bam! She caught the love bug! Are you into her? Don't remember. She's getting the dirt! Don't really? remember. Aww. Though, I guess that makes sense. Tifa said she was so busy after the move to Midgar that she forgot all about you, too. <laughs> hmm. Don't know what it is about you guys, but I get it. I had a thing for a soldier once. At least I think he was a soldier. I wanted to prove myself, so I hit him with my best moves. <laughs> It was like I was firing energy blasts. After a few salvos, he shouted, You got me! And at the time, I totally bought it. Of course, he was just playing along for a dumb kid. Just talk about him, once right? I realized that, I was pissed. I couldn't stop thinking about him. I swore to myself that one day I'd blast that jerk for real. Did some hardcore training so I could give him a no. beat down. Who is she talking about? Not so not. It dawned on me. He was just being nice. Like he was a really nice guy. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized, wow, I liked him. You know? Maybe it's because of those feelings that I still can't fire energy blasts. Aww. I can help. Uh, with the energy blasts? Or my feelings? The former. Feelings ain't my thing. No kidding. <laughs> I think we both kind of suck in that department. Oh, did she just kiss him on the cheek? So, Aww, so that was cute. I thought she whispered okay? something. Oh, say something. Right? Uh, you're so annoying. <laughs> oh, thank God. At least he played along. See that guy again? What should I do? That's up to you. But if it were me, I'd let him have it. <laughs> Aww, that was cute. <laughs> Tell anyone about tonight, and you're a dead man. <laughs> Okay, that was adorable. That was actually way more uh, interesting than I expected, their conversation. Do you want to know Yuffie's crush or nah? Um, if the answer is a spoiler for something, then don't tell me. You wouldn't know the crush from Remake Rebirth? Okay, then yeah, don't tell me. If it's something I'll get to eventually, then that's fine. I'm surprised she wasn't vomiting from her motion sickness. She almost did. It was very clear. Did she? Did she actually puke? It looked like she was like holding it back siblings ever that was really cute he <laughs> cloud was playing around yeah i'm glad he finally like got a little silly with her she's like just give me something man i feel like her reaction to him being like you're so annoying is how all of the girls feel around him internally and they just keep it together but she just doesn't have that filter so she just says it i love that for her <laughs> all right we're ready for 
Barrett. <laughs> I love that he gets his own. <laughs> Are you really doing this? Could you use some peace and quiet, couldn't you? Come on. It's guy love. What's this? Don't compromise. <laughs> He goes to, to protect it? him. Just messing with you. Selfish little boy. She told him. If I was gonna win her heart, I had some growing up to do. Otherwise, she'd never give me the time of day. Funny enough, our first date was at a theme park. Nowhere near as big as this place, of course. Just a traveling fair with a handful of rides. We ended up riding these wooden chocobos round and round, laughing our asses off. <laughs> look at me, boring you with my old stories. Yeah, he does look bored all of the time. Don't worry, I'm used to it. You can't yeah, be well, nice for one second. The lesson here is once you find your soulmate, you never let him go. So, who is it? Hmm? Oh, he wants the dirt Just too. What? You know damn well what I'm talking about. Why do you always have to overthink things? <laughs> that ain't no way to live. You gotta just go for it sometimes. You mean like you do all the Wise time? Wise words. Hmm. Do say. say that we balance each other out yeah <laughs> they're like peanut butter and jelly i mean it though if you do have feelings for someone tell them straight out i love you barrett don't wait till it's too late right goodness that was kind of frustrating because 
Barrett's just trying to be a friend and be nice to him and he was so rude like yeah your stories are boring <laughs> just have fun loosen up a little my goodness Cloud loves Sephiroth mm, I don't know about that one guys need a friend like Barrett to keep it 100 about girls none of that macho crap yes exactly tell people what you're thinking and how you feel don't play games come on come on the BFF Cloud and Barrett, exactly. Just two dudes in a hot tub vibes. <laughs> Reds is actually very important, so pay attention. Oh, okay. All right, we're ready. I'm gonna take a sip and then we'll start. All right, let's watch Red. Red's a true bro. <laughs> I love oh that he's God. getting into his more puppiness. His youthful vibes. Cool it. How can I? It's... <sighs> oh, he actually kind of smiled. Fancy that. I got this. Oh, Pretty he's the good. first one that Thanks. like really Not understood wrong. it, I think. <laughs> Was it just like caught off guard? Incredible. You're gonna drool on the seat. <laughs> Close call. to talk all right this doesn't leave the ride okay it might sound crazy but back in midgar Aerith and i could both see the future well that would explain a lot i'm guessing you can't anymore though nope not even a bit whatever we had i think the whispers took it from us when we left huh seems arbiters of fate can do whatever they want so you told us oh did i huh. i wonder if this means we'll eventually forget they even exist we'd be better off if we did frankly there's no point in wasting our time worrying about fate if we can't change it you're right still there is one thing i need you to remember you have to keep Aerith safe. Hmm. I mean it, Cloud. I don't remember what's supposed to happen, but I do know she's in danger. Shake. What? Shake on it. <laughs> the shake! With his little puppy paw. <laughs> oh my god. They are soft. Huh? Nothing. Forget it. Hello, Naki. <laughs> I'm glad that we could speak in private, Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> You're good company. Thanks. That was hilarious. I'm glad that we could speak in private, Cloud. That was amazing. Oh my god. I love Nanaki. 
Uh, it'd be like if your doggy was clearly more emotionally intelligent than their human. 100%. He's so cute. It's like taking your dog out to Petco. He's so excited. Or like the beach or something. The toe beans be soft. Yeah, that voice change. That was that was the, the nail in the coffin. That was the funnest one so far. I really like that. But oh my God, the goosebumps when he started talking about Aerith. I was like, ah, stressed out. Okay. Um, next, Sid, Vincent, and Kate all together. All right. Let's see what this is about. I didn't even know that was an option. Sid, Vincent, and Kate. Aerith and Tifa date, though, for the Ferris wheel. Yeah, there's no just the, the girls. I wish there was. Y'all leave the flying to me. Eh. Doesn't he work like that? Vincent has such a snatched waist. <laughs> Could we just sit here and spin? Ugh. Could at least throw in a joystick. That seems joysticky. Oh. <laughs> that seems joysticky. Dumb kids toy. Come on. At least we can enjoy the scenery. Just look. You've got a space battle unfolding right before your very eyes. Tell me that doesn't send a chill down your spine. Oh no! Evasive action! Hard to port! Whoa! Made it by the skin of our teeth! me to predict who will win a race. Ah, come off it, I tell them. If I could do that, I wouldn't they still be working here now, would I? <laughs> This is torture. And how do you think I feel? Kate, zip it. Why are you taking his side? I'm the one trying to make this fun. Huh? Is he asleep? <laughs> open the doors. Let me open this thing. Oh my god. That was it. That was the whole thing. <laughs> Nap time for everyone. Well, I'll be in the stands rooting for you tomorrow. Knock him dead. <laughs> Two of the worst loners on this date, and Kate is trying to make it cheery. Uh, yeah, that was um silly. That was just silly. I liked Sid because he constantly cursed in his dialogue and I was amazed that a game would have that kind of language. This was following the SNES era of RPG, which had a lot of censorship. Ah, okay. So it was like, he was the cool character who got to swear a lot. <laughs> Fun fact about this date. You can't get it unless you raise affection with one, with no one. It's almost impossible to get because you have to get terrible answers with every single character weird i mean that makes sense though like you'd have to like really screw it up to get that one that's so funny though Aerith date is the main event of this compilation clearly a cleric um well i got tifa on my date so we started with that one because i've already seen it so 
But I'm very, I, I, I did want to save Aerith for last because now I really am excited to see what's going to happen. This would be a good time to hit your Aerith cosplay goal. Oh, hello, friends. If you didn't know already, when I hit 500 subs on YouTube, we're going to do an Aerith cosplay. It's already in the works. I've been piecing different pieces from different ones. And also I'm going to um, do some DIY bits to it as well. If you have not already subscribed on YouTube, please hit that sub. Help us get there. Let's get that get that goal met. I'm very excited. We're very close. Can't wait. Aerith, Aerith, she's our girl. All right, we ready? Let's go. Ah, it's time. It's time. Hurry up. Okay. So, shall we? What do you think this does? Not very strong out the gate, Cloud. Wow, this is incredible. look on both faces hey check it out <laughs> this is insane chocobo racing's nothing like that well you would know <laughs> he said the same thing to tifa to find you yeah but I'm right here yeah you are but but hey did Tifa talk to you about um hey um Aerith I she tell him the truth he said he remembers that. How they were friends five years ago. What? I don't think so. At least, not about anything important. Oh.
No, no kids. Interesting. Hey, thanks for tonight. You're welcome, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> well, market warriors, you and me, we'll show them tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> He is so annoying with the girls. Uh, I wish he could just talk about his feelings. Cloud social skills strife, right? <gasps> uh, in Japanese custom, intertwined fingers is a sign of deep intimacy between lovers. Okay, I didn't know that. That makes that makes sense. Um, I'm actually surprised there wasn't a kiss, but. Tifa's the only one that got one. It was a cute moment for sure. I know they both lied to him. That's what I'm like. even Aerith. I feel like she would have told the truth, but nope. I did feel like there was more of a intimate kind of interaction between them. It was a little softer with Tifa. I want to say it almost felt like he kissed her because he was kind of annoyed that Aerith was still thinking about Zach. Like, well, fine, then I'll still think about Tifa, you know? The way Cloud gives the girls that look makes them go crazy. What look, this one? That's the look, that's his whole look. <laughs> Zero expression. Feels like Cloud likes Tifa since childhood. Oh, totally. I just think he, like, in that moment, I think he was liking Aerith, maybe, but then felt, like, jilted, you know? That's the look. I, I nailed it. You said Cloud might be worse than Squall from 8 with his social skills. I'm very curious to see what Squall is like. I've never played it. The devs are long playing Zack and Aerith. That's why I don't think they wanted to ship the kiss. I, personally, I don't know how it would happen, but... My hope is that Aerith and Zack end up together somehow. I mean, it could happen. There's multiverses going on and stuff. It could happen. They wanted to make Aerith Zack in part three. A kiss in part two would be weird. Totally. I mean, not that like people don't date and change their minds and stuff, but I feel like players and especially people who are invested in, in FF7 are very like committed and devoted to like things being canon in a certain way and stuff so it may throw things off if something had happened there Aerith has gotta be with cloud i'm sorry i mean coming from somebody who i never played the original so i wasn't like invested one way or the other um and i still don't know what happens like we're about to play the end of rebirth i don't even know what happens at the end of rebirth so like i'm just going based on the story arc so far and what i felt was the first time Aerith ever talked about zach it was with like so much love and like that was her person and so for me from that moment on i just in my head was like oh zach is her person and it's this like tragic story that they were taken from each other so in my heart i'm always like i want her tragedy to have a happy resolve which in my mind would be her getting to get back with her her person. Aerith says that is to try to find the real cloud. The kiss there when she still haven't found the real one would be odd. Oh no, I totally understand what you're saying. Like, like he was still kind of masking. He's still hiding behind this like tough exterior and it would be the wrong time for it. Whereas with Tifa, they do go back so long that I feel like it was almost like a long time coming you know in fact when it happened when i played the game and i got tifa on my date i was like finally because they've been like puppy love since they were kids they both had a crush and they both kept it secret and da 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 and then it was like they've been thinking about doing that for a long time the point of these dates is ultimately to show you cloud's different dynamics with each character Barrett's more brotherly. Red is the doggy. Yes. Yuffie's the sister. Aerith is the special person who helped him open up more. And he cares deeply for her. Tifa is ultimately the partner for his life. 
interesting thoughts. The love triangle is canon, which totally makes sense. You got to have some tension somewhere. 